Aha. Hey, shady stranger. Oh, shifty character. Listen to me. I just got the word that the thief has already struck. He's at him right now at the lighthouse. You mean where Lynx was? Lynx beat us to the thief? Maybe that's what he was doing. If we hurry, there might be a chance. The right. If we hurry, there, we might be able to catch him red-handed. Quick, to the lighthouse. Oh gosh, the crook jumps up behind you on your horse and points up towards the lighthouse above the beach. Quick, ride, ride like the wind. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at him. <laughs> uh, I don't know how fast I can go with you on the... Oops. Ah, this is awkward. This is awkward. Run! Run! Oh my gosh, my poor horse. <laughs> Lynx was just trying to catch the thief, that's all. Looks like we made it. Stay quiet now. He's probably still inside the lighthouse. The thief must be in there. Hey, sneak in and see if you can open that door without making any noise. If you manage that, I'll jump in and grab it. Careful now. Creep up to the door and focus on opening it completely silently. We don't want to scare him off now we've got this close. I, I probably have to get down. I'm guessing. I'm probably guessing wrong, but... Get up there. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Okay. Oh my god. Ah! <gasps> what has happened? Oh my god. <gasps> Don't faint. Are we being kidnapped? What's happening? Oh no. Caught red-handed? Where's my horse? Hello. Hello? Are you awake? Cadence? Hello there, how's your head? Let's have a look at you. Nope, seems like you're past the worst of it. Seems like you'll have a bit of a bump there for a while, but it'll go down. What are you doing here, you ask? Well, let's see. I had heard an almighty crash up at the lighthouse a short while ago. So I went up there to see what on earth was going on. I found the door off its hinges and you on the ground, completely out for the count and impossible to get through to. I carried you down here. I love you, Mrs. Holdsworth, thank you. Let you get some rest in peace and quiet. A few hours rest in the vapors from one of my famous herbal broths seems to have done the trick. One thing that was rather strange, Cadence, when I found you up there at the lighthouse, you had one of Josh's trophies in your hand. One of the ones that was stolen a little while back. Oh God, does she think it's me? You've no idea how Josh's trophy made it into your hand. I believe you, Cadence, you'd never do a thing like that. Whew. Thank you, Mrs. Holdsworth. <laughs> I think there's something, someone trying to pin the blame on these thefts on you. Probably that shady guy. Probably the actual thief trying to get away with it. You were lucky it was me who found you because it would have been rather difficult to explain to the police why you had stolen goods on you if they found you like that. One question. Why were you up in the lighthouse in the first place? What's that? You rode there with some crooked character from the beach to try and stop the thief? Aha! Seems quite clear what's going on there, then. The shady character who followed you up to the lighthouse must be the thief himself. When you started asking difficult questions, he must have tried to get rid of you and get away with it all at the same time. A crafty plan. If I hadn't heard all that commotion and noise from the lighthouse, it would have worked. Probably best that you ride down to Dark Corps camp as quick as you can and confront the thief before he gets away. Oh, 
<clears throat> Thief? Why are you saying I'm busted? No point playing dumb, you say? Um, what are you talking about and who even are you? Hold on a minute. You seem to think you're talking to my predecessor, the guy who was standing here just a couple of hours ago. Well, you're not. And I guess they all have the same voice. I'm sorry, I didn't know there was a different guy. Talking to him, that is. That much I could tell you. He was hastily replaced about half an hour ago. Disappeared on one of our ships. The last I saw of him was that he was running off onto the ship. Quicker than a rat up a drain pipe. He didn't look like he had time to pack, either as he looked empty-handed as he left. Hmm, let's see what Shifty Character has to say. Now you can get lost. I haven't got time to talk to you. Beat it! What? Stolen goods? Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Sounds interesting, though. Probably best to take a look at the, my predecessor's belongings. He disappeared so fast that all his things are left there on the boat. Do excuse me one second. I'll go and investigate at once. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. You can rely on me. He he. What's that? You don't get to take a look for yourself? You'll call the police? Urgh. Okay, okay. Go through his stuff yourself, then. You have to promise not to call the police, though. They're really against the police in this, this group. This dark core group. This isn't something to joke about. I'm sorry. Now you've promised. My predecessor kept his things in a wooden box on the boat over there by the radio equipment. Okay. I'll go get it. Here's this random box. Goods. Oh, cool wristwatch. Empty pipe. Oh, these are the stolen items. Small hammer. I believe it was tiniest hammer. And something that flashed really quickly. It's cool. It's cool. Hmm. Did you find his things? They were stolen goods, you say? He <laughs> he. Why is he always laughing? <laughs> if they really are stolen goods, then the only fingerprints on them now are yours. Ha ha ha! Here, Dark Core, we all wear gloves! <laughs> if I remember rightly, you had these things with you when you arrived. Maybe I'll just call the police myself and tell them I've caught the thief. Maybe you can just give me all the loot and we can forget all this ever happened. What do you say? You think I should call the police? Um, you're sure they'll take your word over mine? Uh, her. okay, you win this time. <laughs> you beat me this time, but I'm not as dumb as the last guy. We'll meet again, you can be sure of that. The smell of all that baking from that old granny's house is so good! If my predecessor hadn't take the, taken the pie, I'd have done it myself. You could just ask. I'm sure she'd make you one. Hey, listen. Give the pie case back to the old dear, and maybe she'll set out another pie to cool sometime. Then I'll be ready and waiting. <laughs> now get out of here and take this junk with you. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Holdsworth. Um, Hello, Cadence. Looks like my pie tin. Some crook down there wanted you to give it back to me so he could steal the next pie I bake. You know what, Cadence? I'll be making my super extra double ultra volcano spicy chili pie. I've baked it only once before and it was for the final of the reality show, Jorvik's Biggest Dummy. We're the first person to eat a whole pie, piece of the pie, won the contest and got a million Jorvik shillings. Wow. That was the first year that there were no winners at all. <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> oh, we'll take uh, the other stuff back. This tiny hammer must belong to Conrad. Leave it back with him, Cadence. I heard he was a little depressed last time you spoke to him, so you could probably use the good news. I, I keep slipping out of her voice. I'm sorry. It's very hard to do. This must be Tan's watch. Probably best you give it back to her, but you can tell her from me there will be no more pie in, for her in the future. Wow. Here are all of Josh's trophies. Hurry now and give them back to him. He'll be so happy to get them back, the little angel. Oh, he's a little angel. The awesome watch is back. I've moved him over a month. Hey, Cadence, what's up? What? My watch? No way. For real? 
Hey, Loretta, check this out. My amazing new watch is back. Isn't it gorgeous? Awesome. You're, like, totally jealous now, huh? Ha! Uh, hey, Loretta, I was just joking. You can borrow it anytime you like. Seriously, we're besties. BFFs forever and ever. For real, you know? For real. You know. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Cadence. This is amazing. Can I? Can I? <laughs> oh. Believe you found the watch so fast. Tell Jenna that me and Loretta aren't thieves if she hadn't already got that for herself. Now I need to go. Ciao! Ciao. April Bunny Nose of the Western Gazelles Riders. Avery Starcake of the Sunshine Wood Riders. Pretty cool. Josh. Trophies are no joke. Hey, time. Cadence. Ah, oh, life is just so boring without my trophies. I never thought they meant that much to me, but I guess you don't know what you've got till it's gone. What's that you say? You found my trophies? You're kidding! Don't joke about this, Cadence. No way. Let me see. <gasps> my trophies! My babies! I never thought I'd see them again. Thanks so much, Cadence. You're amazing! Josh is like my new favorite person. <laughs> hey. Okay. This day got off to a terrible start, but ended brilliantly. You need to tell Jenna that all my trophies are back. She'll be delighted to. To, as well. She'll be delighted as well. Hi, Zelda Mystery Bard. Ooh, Mystery Bard. Northern Sunrays Tribe. That's fun. Jenna, tell Jenna the watch is back. Tan got her watch back, you say? I guess she's happy about that. Nice. Now I don't have to listen to any more of her and Loretta's whining. For a while, at least. Josh got his trophies back? Then I guess he'll be pretty happy right now. How nice. It felt horrible to see such a good guy as Josh be so sad. Good work, Cadence. Thanks, Jenna. Jenna's one of my favorite people, too. Hey, Conrad. I spy with my little eye something beginning with my tiny hammer! I thought it was lost forever! Thank you, Cadence. Your heroics shan't be forgotten. I thought it was my own fault that the hammer was gone and that my memory was fading and that my old age was finally getting the better of me. But now everything's in order and all back to normal. All thanks to you, Cadence. I've never lost a tool in my life and it'll not happen again anytime soon. I swear it, just as my name is Conrad Marston. Cadence... Hurry now and give Jenna the incredible news. She must cry no more. Her flower pots are going to be finished by sundown. That's my new Conrad voice because he's so heroic. <laughs> my flower pots are almost finished? Good of Conrad to let me know. Now I suppose I just need some flowers to put in them. Cadence, thank you so much for helping us put a stop to all this thievery here in Moreland. You didn't just find the thief, but you also got back all the stuff that was stolen. Josh, Tan, Mrs. Holdsworth, and Conrad Marston have all asked me to find an appropriate award for your heroism. I don't know quite what it could be, though. Something to suit you. Actually, yeah. Wait, I know. Jenna looks in a box behind her. Oh, a hat. Jenna's helmet. No, no. Jenna grabs something from the box behind her. Here you go, Cadence. What do you think? Maybe it's not much considering all you've done, but I hope you like it. Take care. See you soon. <gasps> what? <gasps> it's beautiful. It's purple and kind of sparkly and oh my gosh, it's so cool. It looks quilted. <laughs> Thanks, Jenna! I knew you were awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm gonna wear it. I know it's not as good as mine, but I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it right now. It's not as good as my normal one, but it's pretty awesome. Oh, you know what I bet it goes well with? The purple dress. Bam. And some new shoes. Just gotta change my pants sometime. Yeah! 
All right, guys, thanks for wrapping up the thief quests with me. I hope you enjoyed the new Moreland segment of the Let's Play. Um, we got to the bottom of the Dark Core Thieves, although I think there's more going on there. So we'll find out. We checked out the new colors of the quarter horses. Yeah. And, you know, I leveled up a little bit. What can I say? <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I should be around to hang out. I won't be doing a big meetup this weekend because I have a 5k race on Saturday and Mother's Day is on Sunday. I hope you guys wish your moms happy Mother's Day and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye! Rachel Snowsmith. Hi, I'm a big, I am a huge fan. I don't know where I got big from. I love you. You are amazing. I'm on Windstar server. I'd like to be friends with you. Thanks, Rachel. I appreciate it. Jasmine Wolf Forest. Thanks for answering my letter on your Let's Play. Are you having a great time on Star Stable? And how have you been doing? I love your Let's Play. Thank you. I've been doing pretty good. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm excited to be back. The giveaway has been a blast. Everyone's been so appreciative, and I think that's really, really cool. I also think it's cool when a lot of people um, want to enter for their friends who ne can't necessarily get Star Coins themselves. And everyone's super supportive and excited, and I'm glad to make everybody happy. And I wish more than one person could win, to be honest. I wish I could um, get more to give away. So, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Thank you for your letter. I appreciate it. Willow Pony Night. I love Stacy Place, too. I just bought her shirts and poster. And I really hope to meet you one day. But we're on different servers, I think. I'm on the Nightstar server. Yeah, I'm on Windstar. Um, that's pretty cool. I've watched some of Stacy Place videos. Uh, mostly the dog craft ones because I thought that mod was really cool and I wanted to check it out. Um, thank you, Willow. Irish Pony Ridge. Hi, Stacy. I love your videos and I would like to tell you good job on what you do. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's been a learning experience and it's been a lot of fun. Keep up the good work and also I would want to meet up with you. Awesome. We will do that soon. Thank you, Iris. Daisy Wintercake. Hey, Cadence. I just wanted to let you know that your vids are amazing. You're amazing and keep up the good work. Thank you. I really appreciate the support as I kick the camera again. <laughs> Thank you, Daisy. Winter cake! That's pretty similar to winter pie. Ava Flowerly. Hi, I hope we are on the same server so we can meet each other. I am dying to meet you. Awesome, I'm on Windstar. So if you're on Windstar, you can come to my meetup. Thanks, Ava. Alina Opal Heart. That's pretty. I love opals. Have you ever seen them in real life? They're beautiful. Hi, I'm Opal. That is what my friends call me. Want to come to the cafe with me in Fort Pinda? It would be great to see you in the game. That would be fun. Um, the cafe in Fort Pinda. Yeah, the one down by the beach, right? That's usually a great place for a meetup because everybody can get to Fort Pinta. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, Alina. Opal. Thank you. <laughs> Probably can't type Alina in the game. That's my guess, right?